everyone. Okay, today I fancy trying um, the bloom technique. I have a bunch of um, these little piggy pigments that I've mixed. I'll um, I'll put my uh, the way I like to mix them in the description. But um, there are a lot of products here in Europe that we can't get not easily or very affordably anyway compared to what the um, US people are able to get. So I've adapted to that and I use a medium made with three parts um, Amsterdam acrylic medium which is intended for mixing your own paints and one part um, liquid exploring medium and that's what I uh, use for dispersing the uh, dry pigments and then I just add more of that medium and the consistency seems to be pretty good for for the bloom technique and my um, cell activator is an Amsterdam paint I've used a greyish blue this time and this, that's mixed one part uh, the paint two three parts Australian floral that's something I do. <laughs> I do order online because it's just fantastic for that webbing, webbing effect you get. Right. So I have a bunch of um, these little piggy pigments mixed up. So I'm just laying down my uh, base paint. Um, I'll put the recipe for that in the description as well. And I have a bunch of these absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, uh, paints mixed with uh, COP. So what I'll do is I'll just spread out this uh, pillow a little bit um, towards the air bubbles out. Um, yeah, I'll speed up the video now and put some music on for you and I'll come back to you in a bit. I am done right um I don't have anywhere near as much webbing as I'd like only a tiny bit there not sure if it's the uh, cell activator I also have a feeling that my um, um, paint mixes might have been just a tad too thick they were a little bit tough to move although I don't know I'll keep I'll keep experimenting, but I want to show you these um, colors uh, up close with a flash because they're all metallics and they look really cool. I'll just grab the camera. So here we go. Um, I've got the flash on in the camera and I just wanted to show you these effects. Oh, that blue is just, I'm in love with that blue, the dark blue there. It's called Sapphire, I believe. And I have some... Um, 
more what you might call it transparent uh, paints as well and they're co uh, creating that look at that goldy sheen just there oh, I can't wait to see how this dries so <clears throat> yeah um, in summary, even though that bit there with the, uh, oh sorry, lost focus, uh, I don't have hardly any webbing. I do like this. Um, it's a little 8x8 canvas and I'm doing a series of flowers that my mum wants to put on her wall. So if she's happy with this, then I'm happy with this. But I'd love to hear what you think. So please leave a comment uh, just below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, that would really help with me uh, growing this channel and keep experimenting with my paints. But anyway, thanks ever so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.